What is an air test? No, it always a vent test. What we use to actually, no, let's do that again. Yeah, I fucked that up. Oh. And I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> See you later. See you later, guys. Hi, I'm Paul Whiffin from Atspace, and today we're answering a question, what is a vent test? Or a, what is a ventilation flow rate test? Ventilation is part F of the building regulations, and today we're gonna to show you how we perform one, and this is for a intermittent fan, which is system one. Right, what I'm gonna show you is the equipment we use. These are the two hoods that we get. The reason for different sort of style hoods is to fit over certain circumference of fans and to get into those tricky areas. And basically what hooks on the back, this gadget here, hooks straight in there, is the anometer, and this measures the flow rate of the extraction. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we uh, stick over a fan. So in here we got a utility, small utility room. They've got to achieve 30 liters a second in these small rooms due to all the appliances that are in them. Got to make sure the door has a gap underneath it so it can draw air in between 10 and 12 mil. Um, and the door should be shut when you're testing. So anyway, let's put it over the fan, make sure it's a nice fit in. You've got to give it a bit of time for it to pick up the speed so we can measure it, make sure the fan is working well. We've got a 31.4, so this complies with the building regulations. Um, we're going to go into the bathroom next. Each wet room, whether it's a bathroom, WC, kitchen, has different extraction rates. So bathrooms have 15 litres a second. WCs, which stands for water closets, which tend to be sinks and toilets, they have an uh, extraction rate of eight. Kitchen extraction of 30. If the hob is adjacent to the fan, it's got to achieve 60. It has. So you've got to be a bit careful with what size fans that you actually install. Right, again, the fan is on. Seems sounds like it's working fine. Stick the hood over. This has to achieve 15 litres a second, because it's a bathroom. And as you can see, as you can see that there, we're achieving 15.4. Just drops a little bit due to the cameraman underneath it. There we go, 15. So again, this complies with part F. What we do is we make a note of this and we issue a certificate for building regulations to meet part F and that you can submit to your building control to get sign off. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you've seen, please like or subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, please put them below so we can help you further.